Snagit offers a wide variety of ways that you can call out information in your screenshots, including arrows, callouts, and other shapes. Today, we're gonna to focus on callouts, but the way I customize these can be applied to various other tools inside of Snagit. So here we have a screenshot of a storefront here, the Seaside Surf storefront, and I wanna draw attention to the sales graph. And the way I want to do this is I wanna use a callout that's available up here on the toolbar. I'm gonna select callout, which then takes our properties panel, the quick styles over here on the right, and offers us several different options. Now be aware, depending on the size of your computer screen, you might be able to grab the tools property menu here and click and drag it down a little further to expose other options that are available to you. For us, we're gonna start with the real classic red callout over here on the top. So once it's selected, I can click and drag it on my screen to place it where I want, resize it, and even reposition it however I need. In this case, I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to double click into the area and I'm gonna add the words review sales data. Once I've got that typed in, I can double click on that whole section and use the uh, editing tools here to maybe make it a little bit bigger for people to see. And I'm gonna make it bold. What's great about these callouts is they are templates, which means you can take them and modify them and mold them as needed. Once you have it selected, you can take the arrow and reposition it wherever you want that makes the most sense. In fact, you can also do multi-tail callouts inside of this callout by grabbing the little blue dot here on the image and dragging it to another section. So now this one callout, this one speech bubble, does double the duty. And uh, although this red is really nice, it doesn't kind of match the branding that I'm going for. So I'd like to change the fill color. In fact, I can change a lot of different aspects of it over here in the tools property. First, I'm gonna select the callout and I'm gonna change the color from this red color to, well, pretty much anything I want, but I'm gonna use the eyedropper tool and select one of the colors from our image. In fact, this purple one is really kind of drawing my eye. Maybe it's blue. And if I select that, I now have this callout in a color that more closely matches the image that I like. I also can change the outline if I want it to be a little bit more bold. Maybe I want a black outline for it. So let's select it here. We'll select the thicker outline and change its color to black. So now that callout stands out really crisp and bold. One thing I also want you to note is when you move that tool properties down, anytime you make a change to a default callout style or any other style, it gets added to your quick styles library. Now, if I like this particular style and I don't want to recreate it every time I make a video or every time I make a screenshot like this, I can click on the little button in the bottom right hand corner and it will add that particular style of callout to my quick styles. So this one now has a black outline and two different tails. In fact, I can even click it and drag it up into the top position if it's something I'm gonna use with regularity, or I can even click on the little star in the upper right-hand corner to add it to my favorites menu. So now I have that tool ready for use at any time, which helps me with consistency across my presentations. Now, there are other ways you can call out attention and emphasize key details, and that's by combining a couple of different tools. In this case, I have an order form available for us here on our screen, and I wanna show people not only a step-by-step -step guide of what to do to fill out this particular order form, but I wanna draw attention once again to a particular area. So let's start with the step tool order. So underneath the more menu, I'm gonna hit the more dropdown, and I'm going to select our step tool. The step tool shows up on the right-hand side of the screen as well. You've got your quick styles that are available to you, including the ability to modify them here in your tool properties. But we're gonna stay real classic with the red step tool, and we're gonna have people first search for existing customers. As a matter of fact, I don't like how small that is, so I'm gonna select it and make it a little bit bigger, which is helpful because now Snagit knows whenever I click somewhere else on the image, it's gonna repeat that same uh, properties applied to that step tool. So we've got the number one for search for existing customers. I want them to pick a particular product. So in this case, it's gonna be the one year surf pass. And then I want them to pick an appropriate uh, payment method. Now I wanna draw attention to one particular part that my team tends to miss 
when they're entering these forms. And I'm going to use another tool from the more dropdown section called our magnify tool. It creates a magnification of a particular area on the screen, but it does it with a little pizzazz. Let me show you. I want to draw attention to the fact that people tend to forget to put the zip code in on their entry form. So once I grab that, you'll see that that section is enlarged. It's been magnified. But if I click on it and drag it off to the side, you'll actually see where it's got the magnified area. And then it draws attention to the larger magnified section here on the right to that part of the order form. What's also helpful is I can add the, our friend the callout, which I already added to my favorites menu. And I can put in here another call that says, uh, do not forget the zip code. Smiley face. So I don't want to be a jerk. So not only do I have that here, I don't need two arrows in this case. So I'm going to drag my second arrow inside of my call out, which makes it disappear. And it's ready for sharing. If you're creating how to guides, presentations or tutorials, Snagit makes it easy to emphasize key areas of information and to help you effectively communicate your message. Try it out for yourself with a link in the description for a free trial. And as always, be sure to like, follow, subscribe for more screen capture and Snagit tips. Thanks for watching.